in this video we are going to discuss about some problems based on three phase synchronous generators well let us see here this is the stator part of the generator and these two equations which help us to solve this kind of problems first we'll see 2.22 is a constant f is the frequency this frequency can be calculate by using the formula f is equal to pn divided by 120 let us see any data is are given in this problem statement or not so here f is equal to p is nothing but number of poles the given that six number of poles are available and the speed of alternator is 1000 rpm so these two data are belongs to the rotor part of the alternator so now f is equal to 6 into 1000 divided by 120 the answer of this one is 50 hertz well next zph is nothing but the total number of conductor per phase this can be calculate with the help of number of slots and conductors here they are saying that 90 slots are available and each slot carrying 8 conductors so therefore where zph is equal to total number of slots that is 90 and each slot having 8 conductors per slot divided by 3 so why am dividing by 3 the reason is this is a three phase circuit but we want the number of conductors per phase hence i am dividing this equation by 3 then answer of this one is 240 the total number of conductors per phase is 240 then next one is kp where kp is nothing but pitch factor so in this problem statement they not specified any value of kp so that means we need to assume kp is equal to 1 so that means whenever kp that is a pitch factor data is not available we need to assume kp is equal to 1 then kd is nothing but distribution factor or winding factor in this problem statement they are saying that winding factor is 0 0.96 after having all data we need to calculate EPH this is equal to 2.22 into F is nothing but frequency that is 50 Hertz pi is 0 0.05 and KP is 1 KD is 0 0.96 the answer of this equation is 12,787.2 volts this can be converted into kilovolts that is 12.787 kV now we have to calculate line voltage so the relation between the line and phase is here i'm going to say it is a root 3 into eph why i consider el is equal to root the times of eph because the stator is star connected in the star fashion we know the relation between the line voltage and phase voltage that is el is equal to root the times of eph so therefore it is root 3 into 12000 787.2 so the line voltage is here the el is equal to in terms of kilo volt it is 22.148 kv this generator generates the voltage of 22.148 kv In this problem first we will calculate frequency f is equal to 8 number of poles 
the speed of the alternator is 750 rpm divided by 120 so answer of this equation is 50 hertz then we will calculate zph that is the total number of conductors per phase the number of slots are here 72 and each slot carrying 10 conductors divided by 3 this 3 is because of we want per phase hence the answer of this equation is 240 conductors per slots then kp where kp is nothing but pitch factor in this problem statement they clearly saying that full pitch full pitch is nothing but always we need to assume 1 even though the data is not mentioned that time also what assume kp is equal to 1 for full pitch also what assume kp is equal to 1 then kd distribution factor or winding factor this one is 0 0.96 then we'll calculate eph this is equal to 2.2250 50 hertz flux is 0 0.1 weber kp is 1 kd is 0 0.96 the answer of this equation is 2557.44 volts then line voltage line voltage is equal to root 3 times of eph in this problem statement they are saying that rms value the rms value and line value both are same so therefore this is equal to root 3 into 2557.44 the rms value of generated emf in the given generator is 4429.6 volts in this problem we will calculate frequency f is equal to number of poles are 12 the alternator is rotating with the speed of 500 rpm divided by 120 this is equal to 50 hertz sometimes depend upon the poles and the speed we may get 60 hertz also then zph zph is equal to number of conductors per phase that is nothing but the total number of slots that is 48 each slot carrying 15 number of conductors divided by 3 the answer of this equation is 240 conductors per phase then kp is equal to in this problem statement the pitch factor is clearly mentioned that is 0 0.98 and kd distribution factor or winding factor that is equal to 0 0.97 then generated emf per phase is equal to 2.22 f is 50 zph is 240 kp is 0 0.98 and kd is 0 0.97 then the generated emf is 506.479 volts then line voltage is equal to root 3 times of eph this is equal to root 3 into 506.479 then finally the generated line voltage is equal to 877.248 volts